Hey y'all, it's Katie. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. And in today's video, I'm very excited to be diving into my Give Me Glow eyeshadow palette collection and sharing with you guys my ranking for all the Give Me Glow palettes that I own. Now, I was kind of surprised that I don't have a very like large collection. I feel like I'm such a big fan of Give Me Glow and I went to go pull them all out and I'm like, wait, where do I have more? But I have a ton of Give Me Glow single eyeshadows. That's kind of where the love started. And then I slowly have been collecting their palettes over the years. So I only have seven eyeshadow palettes to go over, but I'm gonna be ranking them all from my least favorite all the way up to my most favorite. I've been doing this with a couple of the brands that I have a lot of palettes from. So, so far I think I've done Menagerie, Juvia's Place, and maybe Nomad Cosmetics. If you guys haven't seen Nomad Cosmetics, that one's coming as well. But today we're gonna to be talking about my Give Me Glow eyeshadow palette collection. And as I said, I have seven of them. One, the one that's on my eyes today is the Juicy Olive Palette. I have the Nightlife Palette. I have the Sticky and Sweet, or Sweet and Sticky Palette, my bad. I have the Christmas Morning Palette, and I have the Vivid Rose Palette, the Extra Spicy Palette, and then finally, the Pastel Dreams Palette. So those are all the palettes that I own from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and as I said, we're gonna be ranking them. So if you are interested in seeing where I rank all these and my thoughts on, my very brief thoughts on them, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, we're gonna start at the bottom per usual but let's go ahead and share my least favorite to give me glow palette that I own in my collection and that's gonna have to be the Christmas morning palette this palette right here not that I absolutely hated it but maybe it was the grunge combined with the Christmas theme in it but what for whatever reason I wasn't the biggest fan of this I think it created one two looks that I was like yes I really love that and then trying to dive into this palette any more than that I just wasn't inspired and that's why it's getting so low because for having such a unique color story typically I like to feel inspired or challenged and that kind of makes me enjoy the palette more if I'm able to to create looks that I absolutely love and I felt a little challenged or just inspired when I dived into the palette and for this one wow Wow, this is dirty. I don't know if it's gonna come across on camera, but this is a dirty palette. But anyway, for this being such a unique color story, for me to go into it and not feel inspired or just challenged in a fun way, I kind of went into it and was just like, um just nothing. I didn't feel challenged because I didn't feel inspired and I didn't really, I don't know. For whatever reason, this just wasn't my favorite. Quality wise, is there anything wrong with the palette? Absolutely not. The shimmers are stunning. They're very messy as you can see, they're, but they're absolutely stunning. This is like the most liquid looking white silver shade you can ever put on your lids. It's beautiful. Very, very pretty quality. Great shimmers, great mattes. I love the ratio of mattes to shimmers, having half and half. All that was really great, but for whatever reason, this color story for me just fell flat, so I figured that was fitting to bring it in at the very last since it didn't and impress me all that much. So yeah, not my favorite from them. It's nice to own. I can't foresee myself holding on to it long term. So for all those reasons, it's coming in at the bottom. All right, she must have heard me say in my last video when I was finishing getting ready that I wanted to film one more video before the kids woke up because she just woke up. It's early for her, so she should be sleeping. So she might just want a little bit more of a snack before she drops back up to sleep. So hopefully she's not gonna be too loud, but you might hear a little bit of piggy noises down here. And that's just baby girl getting a snack in. But anyway, let's continue. The next one is going to be the Give Me Glow Sweet and Sticky palette. This palette here, I feel like a lot of people didn't expect me to love or just it wouldn't anticipate me loving because it is such a neutral palette. But again, Give Me Glow quality is outstanding and these are neutrals that I really do enjoy. I think this is discontinued. You're very loud. I think this is discontinued now, but I really still do enjoy it. And if I ever uh, kind of get into my head, it's like, oh, I really want to do a really neutral look, but with eyeshadows that I love, this is one of the first that come to mind because I love the formula of the mattes. I love the formula of the shimmers. The shimmers are blinding. They're so beautiful. I absolutely love them. So it's just a great palette. I like how dark the darkest shade goes. I like the different tones on the, you know, the me medium tones and whatnot. I like that I can use this palette for an all matte look as well. Like I don't have to put shimmer in there because there's a nice array from really light to really dark in here to do a very pretty all matte look and it's just a very versatile and fun for just being a little six pan palette it's a very versatile and fun neutral palette for me so definitely a great palette doesn't rank super high because there are so many amazing colorful palettes from gimme glow but it's still a really great palette that i do really like Next, let's talk about the Vivid Rose palette from, obviously, Give Me Glow, but the Vivid Rose palette. This is one of those palettes I picked up and I didn't anticipate loving because you guys know, I say it all the time, I'm not a big pink purple person. However, I like this array of pink and purple a lot. I like the array of really bright pinks in here with the depth and the purple, the richness. There was very muted and almost like gray tone purples down here, but then there was rich tones in here and very intense bright pinks over here. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I just absolutely loved this display and these tones when it comes to pink and purple. And I really thoroughly 
thoroughly enjoyed using this palette and that totally shocked me. So I know it isn't at the very top of the countdown, but it is a little bit higher because I really did enjoy it. The formula was really, really nice as well. Mattes and shimmers. There are, what is this? Two, uh, three shimmers, lots of mattes. I love working with a lot of mattes. And again, the tones that they put, like that intense hot pink, so beautiful. This palette stains really bad. You, I'm sure that comes as no surprise just looking at that hot pink. It does stain, but it is so beautiful and so worth it. And the shimmers are just uh, so pretty, so beautiful. She did a great job putting this color story together and making it a palette that not only pink and purple lovers will like, but like people like me who aren't into pink and purples, I really liked it just because of how intense it was, how colorful it was, and how saturated the tones were. And like I said, I love the more grayed out versions down here, the more grayed out tones down here, but then you had really bright shades up here as well. So overall, I just felt like it was a very versatile palette and I can't remember how many looks I did in total with this palette, but I remember when I finished and you know, shared my review, I felt like I could have gotten a couple more looks that I really enjoyed from this palette just because I could have kind of gone to one side or the other, mix and match, stick to one side. There's just a lot of potential, a lot of different looks that you can get with this palette and that's what I love as well in a palette it is she is breathing so loudly, I'm so sorry. But I love a palette that has so many possibilities and it doesn't make you feel like you only get one type of look out of it. So overall, a solid palette and it surprised me by how much I loved it. Of course you guys knew this extra spicy palette was going to be in here. I decided not to rank it super super high because there is one shade in here that I wasn't the biggest fan of and it's, I think it was the Can We Get More Salsa? It was either the Chili Pepper or the Can We Get More Salsa. One of the two really dark reds was a little bit dry. Now it's still performed fine, but it felt like I wanted to catch a little bit and was just, I just sticks out in my memory as being a little dry to work with. So that's why I figured right here in the middle is where I would rank it. I absolutely love the shimmers in here. She went from uh, sounding like a pig to sounding like a horse. <laughs> Sophia, you're just so loud. And she's like sound asleep on me. Anyway, I really love the shimmers in here. The orange, the gold, ugh, they're all so beautiful. I feel like I could do this and just like stun you with how shiny they are. They're intense. And if I didn't have her in my arm, I would swatch them. On fire, this orange, I kind of just want to dive back into because it looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. And then just the array of like the, the reds with the, the yellow, the habanero. Such a pretty combination. I really did enjoy it. And I know this got some crit criticism when it first came out that it was missing a green. And I do get it because if you look at the cover, there's green, green tops on those chilies and I honestly would not have minded a nice nice green in that tone mixed with all these reds and oranges and I do feel like the reds were a little redundant but as it is I do like this fiery palette it gives me some beautiful fiery looks that I really did enjoy beautiful shimmers I love the orange tones in here great reds and yeah it's a palette I really like, so it is going pretty high in my countdown, and it is a palette I definitely have no plans of ever getting rid of, but yeah, it's just a solid palette. I love their formula as a whole, and even though there was that one kind of dryish and dry to me for Gimme Glow. I feel like Gimme Glow is typically very smooth, very creamy feeling, whereas this one was just a little bit dry, but again, it still performed. It just felt a little different than her other formulas. The newest palette that Gimme Glow launched uh, that I have purchased, at least, is the Nightlife, and I think this is the Teal Nightlife, because they also came out with another Coral, I think, I just picked up the teal and it's this palette right here. I have been having so much fun with this. At the time of me sitting down to record this video, I haven't yet done my review of this, but I have created four or five looks with this palette and I really like it. I will say though that my preference is to take one or two of these shades out and replace it one with like a black and one with, I forget what I use, purple? Just replace a couple colors because there's a few shades in here that are a little redundant and it doesn't go as deep as I like to give me the full potential of this color story that I'm looking for. So I'll go over it all when I do my official review for this palette, which will hopefully be sometime in December towards the beginning. But overall, it's a really nice palette that I really thoroughly enjoyed. I love the shiftiness of this more multi-chrome shade up here. And while I think it's absolutely beautiful on the eyes, I don't really care for her formula as much because it doesn't, it has more of a difficult time staying in place and not creasing on me than her typical shimmer formula. So just a little, I'm not supposed to be reviewing this in this video. Let's just talk about it briefly. So for me, I really do enjoy this palette obviously is very high in my countdown and I do like that since it is just a magnetic palette if you were someone who you know here's my review and w like wants to do those changes you can easily just buy all the shades that you want to make your own color story to fit in here and after I review this I plan to switch those shades around so that I have the color story that I want with that extra black and you know just changing out some shades in here so I still think it's a great palette and I like that the bones that they give for this color story 
I think is they did a great job with it. Just like one or two shades, like I said. But anyway, like I said, it's still a great formula. The shimmer formula, just as good as I remember, and the mattes are fantastic. And I'm excited that she's dipping into into multi crumbs. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of how it wears, but it does look very pretty on the eyes. So overall, I figured this would land kind of towards the top as just being a really solid palette, and I just love the color stories. The greens, the blues, and the yellow. It's a very fun color story. She did a great job, and the packaging. The artist did such a great job on this. All right, next up is what's on my eyes, and that's going to be the Juicy Olive Palette, this baby right here. I used every single shade on my eyes today, and it was so much fun. It's always nice when you go back to a palette that you haven't used in ages and discover that it's just as good as you remembered, like the quality has not diminished at all. All of the mattes blended so beautifully, blended so effortlessly, I think, by the time I put this video up, I should have this one where I create this eye look already up. And if it is up, I'll stick it and put it up in the cards. Or if it's not up yet, it'll be coming soon because it is going to go live sometime during the November during my Kate's giving. But anyway, it's a fantastic palette. I enjoyed the mattes just as much as I always remember. And the shimmers are stunning. Again, I could critique the color selection. Like I wouldn't mind like the shimmers, like instead of this dark shimmer down here to be replaced with a more blinding shimmer just because the two on the eyes did feel a little bit, you know, too close and what not, but that's really minor critiques. Quality wise, this palette, all six shadows are fantastic. I absolutely loved them and they're just so, so good and create such beautiful grungy looks. So this was my first ever Gimme Glow palette and it's landing very high, standing the test of time as being one of the best ones that I have from her. Okay, so for my number one palette, this one's gonna be a little bit unique because I do consider this number one. However, it's number one as a companion palette and I'm talking about the Pastel Dreams from, obviously, Gimme Glow. Anyway, the Pastel Dreams palette, I absolutely love this palette. It is my number one when it comes to pastel palettes and mainly because of the way she set it up. I just, there's something so simple about this and her quality is so good that it's just, it's my number one pastel palette and I just love that she gave a shimmer and a matte of all the colors of the pastel rainbow. It makes it so easy, you know, if you're someone who wants to dive into pastels but you don't know what palette to start with, you don't know which one to go for, you could grab this and then be able to work this into any other palette you have for depth and whatnot. And that's kind of where this isn't a one and done eyeshadow palette for me, that's why I say it's definitely a companion palette because to get type of pastel looks that I like, I want some depth on my outer corner. But for the pastels, this is the only palette I would reach for for the shimmers in those pastel looks. I absolutely love the shimmers in this palette. It, they are just so beautiful. Some of them are more of like an iridescent type of wash of color. Some of them like Rise and Shine are so intense and beautiful on the lid. I just, I really do like this palette. And if you're someone who is newer into makeup and maybe don't know the different type of formulas, I feel like pastels can be very tricky to formulate. Often they can look chalky or be dusty or just not wanna like stick down. They're almost too dry. So I was very happy to see that Give Me Glow's formula performed so very well. I had no issues. They show up very saturated. They show up just as intense on your eyes as they do in the pan and that's what I like when it comes to pastels. They can be pastel in color but I still want them to be intense. I'm not that person that wants like a pastel wash of color. I want it to be obvious intense almost like a neon pastel if you can get that if that makes any sense. I like it to be noticeable when I'm wearing an eye color and I don't like the whole like hint wash of color type of pastel look. So this gives me everything I like when it comes to pastels and wearing them on my eyes. I just need like one more row, even just like three more shades of like deeper mattes, and then this would have been a one and done palette. But even it not having the deeper tones, I can reach for any eyeshadow in my collection to get the deeper outer corner, and then have this for everything else in the look, and I would be super happy. So definitely had to give this number one. It's a fantastic palette. I love the cover. I love the design. She did a great job on the formula. And yeah, it's just one of those palettes that if anyone ever asks me what's a good pastel palette to begin with, what's one I can pick up and kind of have all the colors that I need and be able to have a fantastic formula. Formula. This is always my number one recommendation. So definitely had to come in at number one for all of my Gimme Glow palettes because it is just so fantastic. All right, so that's gonna do it for my Gimme Glow ranking video. It's video is a little bit short and to the point, but like I said, I didn't have a ton of palettes from Gimme Glow, which kind of surprised me because I feel like, I, like I said, I'm such a huge fan, but she only, she doesn't come out with palettes too often. You just making all sorts of noises down here. And so yeah, those are the only palettes I have, but I have, like I said, a ton of her single eyeshadows, so many of them them that every now and then make an appearance if I do one of those bringing a fictitious palette or bringing a fantasy palette to life. I often reach for her shadows because I have so many of them and the formula is just so good. So yeah, I've been a huge fan of Gimme Glow Cosmetics for so very long. Her formula is always spot on. I love her eyeshadows as well as her other products. I haven't mentioned it here, but I have her highlighters I absolutely love. I have her bronzers I absolutely recommend. Her brushes are fantastic. I've recommended them many times. And then also um, her lip products. I love her lip products. 
products as well. So, so many products from Gimme Glow that I absolutely love. I think I only have like one or two that I've tried from her that I am not a fan of. Um, and I'll just go ahead and throw one off the top of my head is her glitter primer. Not the biggest fan of. But the other products that I mentioned, I love, absolutely love. I use her bronzers that she came out with not too long ago. I picked up two of them and I use them like uh, at least several times a week, if not almost every day, because I just, I reach for it so much because it's so effortless. It's what I'm wearing today. So anyway, with that said, Sophia's done having a snack and no, she did not fall back asleep. So we're gonna go and hang out and whatnot until the rest of my kids wake up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always feel bad putting her like that because it's like, you guys can't see it. Just the back of her head, but it's a very comfortable holding position for her. And uh, she can see what's going on behind me. So that's fun too, right? <laughs> She's two and a half months at this point. Probably gonna be close to three months by the time you guys see this video. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me. As always, I'm over on Instagram, Lady Katie. Oh yeah, Lady Katie 92 is where you can find Mama on Instagram, right? <laughs> and she sometimes makes an appearance in the stories. So anyway, LadyKitty92 if you wanna follow me over on Instagram. And with all that said, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. <laughs> like I said, I hope you guys don't mind the snorting. But anyway, I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. Bye.